What's up guys, it's your boy Goose Attack here with another video at you. Got the uh, Lowland Raichu collection box I'm going to be opening up. Everybody knows this, uh, you get this at Walmart, it's been out for a little while now. You get yourself uh, two Crimson Invasion packs, one Evolutions, and a Breakthrough. I mean, a pretty weird combo of stuff, but hey, I ain't complaining. Got it at a good deal. My local uh, Walmart lately has been getting some good uh, savings on Pokemon cards, so I've been hitting that place up. Anyways, guys, let's get cracking into it. In this four packs, it won't be too much of a big video. So, we'll just get, have fun with it. We're going to start with the uh, breakthrough. I mean, you can get yourself uh, two Secret Rare Mewtwo's and I think Mega Mewtwo's and uh, Mega Houndour. I mean, some pretty cool cards in the set, but I know it didn't do too well in pricing. I don't know why the uh, Mewtwo's, even though they're Secret Rares, they just didn't hit high value. I think the highest one is the uh, blue one, I would call it, with the blue black round. And I think I said $25. So, not the. Uh, didn't do too well, to be honest. Spupa. Houndoo Spirit Link. There it is. I like Houndoor. I used to like it because Generation 2. Even Pillow Swine is a cool looking Pokemon. I like the artwork. I haven't seen Breakthrough in a little while, so it's cool to see uh, the artwork of the past, sort of. Do Duo. A lot of Generation 1 and 2. I'm going to start you again. Looks like it's chilling next to the city. It'd be more garbage if it was New York, that's for sure. Cynical, love this artwork. This is a reprint from the Neo set, too. I forgot they even had this. This is a gorgeous artwork. I know they had this. I don't remember which Neo set print this is from, but I know this Cynical is from Neo set. I'm going to be adding this to my Cynical collection, too, in my binder. I don't have this one from Breakthrough. I never kept it. It's only recently I started collecting the Generation 2 starter Pokemon to make like a cool. What I do is basically put Cynical for a Totodile and Chikorita together in those little binders that have three slots. And I would say, like, you know, when my friends come over, I'm like, hey, which one would you pick, you know? So, which one of those three stars would you pick? Basically going by their artwork, whichever one looks cooler. It's a little, little thing I do. I'm going to be doing that with this uh, set, too, eventually. I'm starting to hold all the Generation 3s and 4 starters. Reverse Hall is an Assault Vest, which is an uncommon. It's a good-looking card. And the rare of the pack is a Raichu non-hollow. I know you can get this from... Uh, you can get this, I think, in the uh, theme decks. I think this is one of the theme deck Pokemon that Breakthrough had, if I remember correctly. I like the artwork, though. Reshu's a good-looking Pokemon. It would be cooler in a hollow form, that card. Okay, so enough about Breakthrough. On to Evolution. It's going to be opening up a whole booster box of this soon on my channel. Can't wait to get cracking into that. Hopefully get some Mega Charizards out of it, and, or the, the full art Y Charizard. Here you guys go. White color cold card. But it does not mean nothing in XY. I think all of them were white color code cards. Ooh, Charmeleon to start it off with. Professor's Oak hint. Little Reno. So much nostalgia. It's cool to see these cards. Even though, like, it's not base. It's still, like, base print, which is cool. Like, I remember seeing these when I was a kid and just, like, oh, well, Charmander. I love the artwork on that. Burning up all the grass. Magnemite. Water Energy, Growlithe, mm. looks so chubby in this picture. Ooh, Reverse uh, reverse Hall is the uh, Fighting Energy, which is nice. I like Reverse Hall Fighter. Ooh, we got some Gold Waters, guys. So, let's say we got ourselves a hit of these four packs. So, that'd be pretty cool. And it's a full Art Trainer Brock's Grit. So, nice. Shuffle 6 in any combination of Pokemon and Basic Energy cards from your discard pile into your deck. So, that's pretty cool. That's nice. So we've got our full art trader in the Evolutions pack. I used to always talk smack about this series, but <laughs> to be honest, they're one of the sets I find with the highest pull ratios for some reason. I mean, when I think about it, all the Evolutions I've opened, I've pulled a lot. I've pulled, I've never opened up a booster box before, and I've pulled, I have Mega Venusaur, Mega Charizard, and these are all from loose packs I've gotten from product like this, so. Can't be too, man. On to the Crimson Invasion, finally some Sun and Moon into the package. See if we can get ourselves the Guzzlelord. I love that. Do not have any Guzzlelord for him. Love to get his full art version. I know his attack is just sick. And even his um, even his GX move, basically. Oh, white color cold card. And this is Sun and Moon, so it doesn't mean something. His attack is just sick. I know it's something gluttonous. So I know you take an extra prize card for whatever you kill. So that's pretty fun. Or knockout, I should say. So starting with a milk tank. Hakamomo. Dashing Pouch, Jagmo, Star U. I like the artwork too in this one. I like Star U's artworks. I don't know what it is. 
They're just chilling in water with some cool background with them so far. Hound door. Ghastly, I mean, another OG. Love this artwork too. It's got some like purplish background forest. Crabbish. First hollow is a Carba Blast. And it's a common. Not too familiar with this Pokemon. I mean, there's so many Pokemon you see once in a blue moon, it's hard to remember them all. And the rare of the pack is a hollow Alolan Marowak. That's pretty gorgeous. That's cool. It's funny because it's like around basically the cave. Well, basically the inside of the cave is the hollow point. So that's nice. Oh, no, never. Never mind. You can see a bit of it in the behind them. Gorgeous looking card. Do not, I'm going to add this to my collection. I do not have one of these. I can revise my pulls at the end now. I got myself a full art trainer and a hollow. Hopefully we get ourselves a GX now out of this last pack. Maybe even the Gyarados. I'd love to get the secret rare Gyarados too. So that'd be fun. Ooh, green color cold card, guys. That's a bit sad what they did with Sun and Moon. So you kind of, you know, tell the future of the end of the pack, sort of. Pretty much know that we're not going to hit anything better than a Prism Star out of this. Luciano. Aesil Gore. Chimchou. No, no more. Starly. Skiddo. Oh, Pikachu. Nice artwork there. Kakuna is a reverse holo. It's an uncommon. And the rare of the pack is a Bidrill. No, it's a Miss Magnus. So that's cool. That's for, this is relatively new evolution, too, from. Uh, yeah. Awesome. Mischievous. For Mischievous, the shoot. This she came out in Generation 2. She was a rare also, so no. This is the evolution form. Nice looking card. So not bad. I mean. Can't complain, out of four packs, we got ourselves an Alolan Marowak out of Crimson Invasion. And we got ourselves a Full Art Pricks Grit out of the Evolutions, which is one of the, this is one of the better trainers. Anything that you can take, basically, cards from your discard pile and put it into your, any combination of Pokemon, and basically energy cards from your discard, yeah, and put it into your deck, is pretty solid. I mean, Pokemon, there's two ways of winning, is one is to knock out all your opponent's uh, prize cards, and the second way is to make them have no more uh, cards to draw from. So, anything that you can add cards to your your deck is just very OP in the training, you know, in the game. So, and that's Brock. I mean, he's one of the original characters in the, all the Pokemon series. So that's pretty cool. Anyways, guys, thanks for stopping by. Appreciate the likes, the comments, and I'll be seeing you guys tomorrow. So have yourselves a great weekend. Goose attack out.